All right, it's another quick little video. Uh, it seems like Emerald's kind of starting to come back. I went to Walmart the other day. I hadn't really been to Walmart for a while. I've just been working so much. Hadn't really been to Cabela's or anything. And I decided to go to Walmart. I was going to fish the next day. That's another thing I'm going to make a video on pretty soon. I recently started getting into fishing because I can't find any ammo. I'm a hunter, but since I can't find any ammo to hunt with, and I can't hunt all the time because you got to hunt in seasons, I like figured, oh, well, well, you know, I can usually fish year-round, and it's a cheaper hobby. So I started getting into fishing, and I went to Walmart by my by my uh, fishing pole, and I bought this, like, I think it's called a Zebco 606. I'll make a video on it uh, on another date. But I, I went, I bought that, and then I asked the guy, "Hey, uh, how's ammo going? You know, have you guys been uh, have you guys been getting more, uh, more ammo than usual?" And man, I've been rub rambling a lot lately. I'm just fucking tired. But yeah, I asked him, "Have you guys been getting any more ammo lately than usual?" And he's all, "Yeah, you know what? It's starting to come back. If you it, we've been getting ammo every day now. Every day we get a new shipment of ammo. As to where a couple weeks back we were only getting uh, say." Once a week, twice a week, we were getting ammo, and now it seems like it's starting to come back. Ever since they, I guess they they didn't pass those laws or whatever. So I'm like, all right, what time do you guys usually get your ammo? He said, be here at seven or seven thirty, and you you probably have a chance to buy some ammo. So I said, all right. So I went, I went the next day at I was there at six fifty in the morning, just because I was gonna go fishing anyway. So I was already up since six o'clock. I figured, all right, let's go check it out. I went to Walmart. And I was like, all right, I'm, I'm 10 minutes early. I might have a chance. And when I got there, there was like six people ahead of me. And there was one guy who actually, he told us that he slept there uh, from, I guess, midnight. And he, he actually brought his own lawn chair. He brought like a, a, a blanket and he brought his lunch bag. And he camped out, I guess, inside, the, inside Walmart. He camped out so he could, he could buy 22 ammo. And I don't know about everybody else's Walmart, but at my Walmart, they only let you buy three boxes of ammo, and that's it. Since uh, he was the first guy in line, and they got three cases of the thousand round, what was it? Thousand rounds of 22 LR ammo, he bought all three. And then everybody else was fucking pissed. There were, One guy was calling me, you damn jerk, why the hell didn't you leave with some of us for the rest of us? You know, you could have bought two. And left one for me because he was a second in line. Or you could have bought one and then bought some other kind of animal. And then he kind of laughed it off and he said, well, that's why I slept here. Because I wanted to get what I wanted to get. And, uh, man, I was like, that, that dude better watch out. Because a lot of the people in line were strapped. You know, a lot of them had guns on, on their waist, on their hip, I mean. And, you know, I was like, man, that guy shouldn't be talking so much shit. Because he, he might not make it on the way out. But whatever. The point is that that guy slept there, he, he bought up all the 22 LR ammo, and then, you know, they had a lot of other ammo. They had 223, they had, uh, but it was Tulamo, or Tula ammo, or whatever it's called. So, yeah, they had a lot of 223, a lot of 556, uh, they had a lot of uh, 762 by 39, 40, everything. They pretty much had everything. So, everybody went down the line, and they bought everything they wanted, well, up to three boxes, and then I was, like, hoping at least I could get some 9mm 45. And then a guy in front of me, he bought uh, three boxes of Winchester white box bulk pack 9mm. So it was like 100 rounds. He bought them for like $22 or $23 a box. So that's not bad. That's a good deal. And I was hoping he was, there was going to be more left over. So when it was my turn, uh, the guy behind me had already been telling me, man, I hope I can get some 9mm also. And I didn't say nothing. I was like, oh, all right. You know, me too. So when it came down to my turn, this is what I got. I got uh, one bulk pack of 9mm Winchester white box, 100 rounds. I got a second pa uh, bulk pack, 9mm, 100 rounds. And then my third box, I thought about it, you know. There was only three boxes left of this. But I knew the guy behind me wanted a box. So I didn't want to be a jerk like the first guy and take all the fucking ammo. So what I ended up doing was I bought one box of uh, 50 rounds of 45. You know, I didn't. I I just didn't want to be a jerk, so I left him the last box. And after I bought these, he's all, "Oh man, thanks a lot. Thank you for not buying all three of the boxes." 
Like, oh man, you know, what I know how it is. So he shook my hand or whatever, and then I went home. But here's my here's my receipt. How much did I spend? I spent like I spent. You won't be able to see it, but I spent seventy seventy five dollars and ten cents on this ammo. These were like twenty three dollars plus tax. This one was like twenty one dollars. So I mean, not bad. I I take what I can get, but. At least that I was able to get some ammo. I didn't get some twenty two, but because that crazy ass guy who camped out took it all. But it's starting to come back. So everybody, you know, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, there's hope for all of us. We might be able to start getting ammo pretty soon. So that's it right there. I just want to share that little crazy story with you guys, and it's been long enough. So I'm gonna take off.